talk about this college admission scam story, the one that exploded into the headlines today. The biggest one ever prosecuted. Yes, the celebrities charged are shiny objects in all of this. It's pretty shocking to think that an Oscar nominee like Felicity Huffman, who starred in Desperate Housewives, and Lori Laughlin from Full House Fame, remember her? They are charged with fraud. It's disturbing to think that well-off parents would go to such lengths, given the advantages they and their families already possess. Huffman allegedly paid $15,000 to a fake charity to facilitate cheating for her daughter on the SATs. And according to the complaint, emailed a cooperating witness, quote, Rutrow, looks like my daughter's high school wants to provide own Proctor. Laughlin, along with her husband, fashion designer Massimo Ginuli, whose brand was a big seller at Target and everywhere, allegedly, they paid bribes totaling half a million dollars to get their two daughters designated as recruits to the USC crew team, even though they didn't actually row crew. That's just a small detail here. And there are more stories, more allegations about more parents. Test answers changed. Parents falsely claiming their children had learning disabilities. Stand-ins paid to cheat on tests. Photoshopping students' faces onto athletes' bodies to get those students admitted as athletes. Don't get me wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting the best for your children. All parents do. All parents want the best for their kids. But what we're talking about here is not wanting the best for your children. This is not wanting the best for your children. It's being willing to do the worst thing, to allegedly commit crimes, to get what you want for your children, whether or not they deserve it or whether or not they even want it. The parents charged today, despite already being able to give their children every legitimate advantage in the college admissions game, instead chose to corrupt and illegally manipulate the system for their benefit. We're not talking about donating a building so that a school's more likely to take your son or daughter. We're talking about deception and fraud. Fake test scores, fake athletic credentials, fake photographs, bribed college officials. And for all those people who complain about affirmative action, who say it gives an unfair advantage to students of color and other minorities, this is the real scandal. Elite parents gaming the system, alle allegedly knowingly participating in a nationwide fraud, along with coaches at elite schools, a college administrator, an exam proctor, and two SAT ACT administrators. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy, literally. Some spent anywhere from 200000 to $6.5 million for guaranteed admission. Their actions were, without a doubt, insidious, selfish, and shameful. It is shameful. Shameful that this is an America, this is an America that can be deeply unfair, where hard work doesn't necessarily pay off, where if you have money, you can buy anything, because just about everything is for sale, including integrity for sale. Where a whole lot of people have real good reason to believe the system is rigged against them. Listen, this is what Donald Trump tapped into. In a lot of ways, guess what? He was right. The system is rigged. Remember that. The system is rigged. Right now, it's rigged. We have a rigged system in this country, and we have to change it. You remember what else I called rigged? I called plenty of things in this country rigged. Now, a lot of people will point out, and you know what, they have every right to do so, that Donald Trump himself is a beneficiary of a system that's rigged in favor of the elite. Let's not forget the New York Times investigation that revealed at age three, Donald Trump was earning $200,000 a year in today's dollars. He was a millionaire by the age eight. And soon after he graduated from college, he was getting the equivalent of a million a year from his father. All of that is true, but none of it changes the fact that for far too many people, the American dream is rigged. And he spoke to that. Maybe he's questionable as the messenger for this, but it's a message a lot of people feel 
in their core, rigged in favor of the wealthy and the powerful. And a whole lot of people in this country, on the left and on the right, are angry about that. It's a lot bigger than this one story. Trust me, this is just the beginning. So what message are the parents in the college scandal sending to their kids? CNN's Nick Watt is live in L.A. for us, as well as we're going to discuss this with Frank Bruni, Tiffany Cross, and Ariva Martin.